the name of the shop is Ed Pink Racing Engines. My name is Gianni and I'm the head machinist here at uh, Ed Pink Racing Engines. So oversee all the uh, engine machining and some of the cylinder head machining as well. My name is Chris Trammell, engine builder here at Ed Pink Racing Engines. We build and refresh racing engines and high performance engines for all of motorsports and all of vintage racing and high performance cars. Because Ed Pink Racing Engines has been around for so long, they have a pretty big, extensive knowledge pool. If these walls could talk, they would tell you about the whole history as we go through and we see a lot of the artwork in the rooms. Um, you'll see anything from 962 Porsches, into the Cosworth era, into the USAC Midget era. Ed Pink used to focus a lot more on drag racing, and more on circle dirt track stuff and circle track stuff, so IndyCar. And now we continue on with providing these vintage race car engines and these vintage high performance engines, the same clientele. Mixed in with some of the newest technology you can see. The main project that we've been doing for the last three years that I've been here has been uh, the Singer Porsches. And also recently the Zinger Project. Um, we have some other projects I'm not really at liberty to talk about. A lot of vintage racing engines, anything from a 917 Porsche all the way to a Fiat engine. We are a two-tent shop, meaning everyone here measures within two tents. Not measuring in tents, you're kind of you're kind of guessing. We'll machine a lot of the specs to the OEM target, if not better. One of the projects that recently was been able to work on is um, a couple of 959 cases for Canapa, and um, that's pretty cool because I think they only made about 25 of them. We actually use the Rattler machine to um, vertically line bore it. And so everything was within one tenth from top to bottom. And that's across a 24, 25 inch spread. We have a Rottler head surfacing machine. So it's the S7M. Um, you can also resurface blocks on it too. And um, we also picked up a F67A resurfacing just for like the Porsche cases and for the Zinger cylinder heads. And then we also have the EM69 HP that we're using to do block sleeving on inline blocks, V8s, um, just about anything. We also can port cylinder heads and we're developing and producing our own four valve um, Porsche head. The Rottler EM69 HP has allowed us to go from two to three Singer cases a week being done on the manual machines to about four or five in a week. So it's definitely played a pretty big role in allowing us to um, kind of expedite the processes.